We started the planting day by placing one of the autumn brilliant service berries at the back of our yard. After the trees were secure, we added fresh parkwood three in one. We packed the soil to ensure there was no air pockets and the tree roots will grow strong. After the trees were planted, we placed the oak leaf hydrangeas and Carl Forrester feather reed grasses in between the trees for texture and color. On the slope, we're planting purple cone flowers for added height and texture. Pollinators are also attracted to this perennial, so it's nice to know we're helping make a positive impact on the environment and adding beauty to our garden. Beside the deck, we planted an ivory silk lilac near our patio area. Around it, we also planted salvia, evergold sedge, an existing hosta, and some annual purple cabbage. On the opposite side, we kept it simple by adding some green gem boxwoods and one of my favorite plants, little lime hydrangeas. New perennials and trees should be watered every day for one week, then every other day for two weeks to help promote growth in the roots. Once we were done the planting, it was time for the final touch, mulch. Not only does it create contrast in the garden, it helps retain moisture and keep the weeds away. Next week, we'll show you how easy it is to start your own vegetable and herb garden.